Anyway, another one that went really good this week was Ape. I can't begin to tell you why Ape pumped. I don't know. What I do know is it completely blew out and we actually saw in the middle of nowhere a pinks and cyan setup. Anytime you see pinks and cyan, we start adding Pixa in the Discord. Pixa shorts the bejesus out of these and he does crazy well and he does it with high leverage once he starts getting into profit and he does these insane PL charts in the Discord of these setups he does. This was a textbook, textbook, textbook. Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, give me a second. I got to switch something on the screen. Rainbow setup. And what this is, is a complete pump and dump by the whales. And the, by the time most people mess with these, it's too late. And it's really important to see the split volume tool here. Before this chart, there's like nothing. There's just grinding, 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 very, very little PA. And then out of nowhere, cuff freaking boom. All of a sudden, ape goes ape. And it blows out. It blows through my normal reversion bands, and it actually gets into the machine learning side of the bands, and it starts printing. These are white RSIs. These are sustained pink candles on the H1. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, and all I know, when you see blowouts like this, it's either the beginning of the trend or when they're this violent, it's going to bleed out and retest because it left too many people in the dust. But what we actually saw and what's normally the norm, really, really good for words today. We pumped out, we hit pinks and cyans. That's the typical top call. And it's where a lot of my rainbow traders who do per per perpetual futures uh, lock in their shorts. And... What we got, these are a lot like BART trades, except they're more violent because these don't have time to form a hairline. They're so violent, they go straight back down. So what happens is I call this a bleed to green setup. This is a complete eruption of volume. Like, I can't even get the other candles to really show up here. This is an earthquake of volume on an on a altcoin, right? It pumped up. It blocked, blew out some of the liquidity that we had on liquidation levels. If you actually filter some of the liquidation levels, because this was so violent. Pink candles rolled over, hit the cyan bands. The cyan bands were like, oh my God, this is beyond the strongest thing we've ever seen. They actually started increasing their gains and are learning from it. And actually, as we speak, we have the top signal here, RSI top with that rolling over, color rotations. Then we have the HMA coming through and karate chopping through it. I've got every top signal in the book with rainbow theory saying this is out and then it proceeded to retrace from the move up. It was 131%. You likely weren't going to be able to catch that. Maybe you could, maybe you can't. I don't, I don't long pinks typically because some, they retrace because that's just kind of the rules of how this stuff goes. But so far it's bled out 30% and a lot of people got some shorts in on this. Um, and then what I wanted to show you is. The way whale theory works, whales were long here. They manipulated it up to here and they were out of the building by there. What does that mean? They FOMO'd people into this long all the way up to here and they were able to take profits before this downdraw. They basically bait everyone into a FOMO long and then they get eaten alive. So I want this is this is why I'm such a believer in split volume. You can see all these crazy, crazy buys where they're pumping it, but at the same time you can see these sells. They're selling into this massively while the rest of retail is buying. So while the retail's FOMOing in, the whales are exiting. And by the time you get to here. The whales aren't even in the same building anymore. They're out of the position. They have no, they have, they don't, they're not holding this anymore. And then you get to see retail figure out, oh my God, it's not pumping anymore. And then retail has to start taking L's. All the people that are selling on this backside are taking major losses, 10, 20, 30%. God help you if you leverage long that. But that's why we don't leverage long pinks. We look for the reversals because that's what happens. And this is people capitulating and selling their ape. Now it may come in and form a flat and they may pump it again. That's totally a thing. But when you get this set up, this is what happens. And this is how whales manipulate the markets. 
and this is the wild wild west this is crypto on an altcoin like you are you are vulnerable and it's part of it and it's just the only thing you can do is educate yourself these are like low time frame barks but they're more violent and you just these can eat your lunch but a lot of the rainbow theory traders build short positions in here and then leverage it as it goes down and they do really really well and this is why i call these bleed to green the whales fully exit right around here so i draw that perfectly around here and then the market just bleeds you can go study the old ship charts it's the same thing gigantic pumps until they finally die off and they literally bleed out for like 80 percent i'm not saying this is going to go all the way back but it might and this just people are going to be taking major l's because if they round trip the entire height you're talking about a 56 percent retrace and you don't want to be you don't want to be hanging around for that regardless so just be careful so that's coinbase walkthrough that's ape walkthrough those went by textbook